child, we stepping it up. We are stepping it up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. Today I'm reviewing a wig from my first wig. It's a human hair wig for beginners. Yes, we're bringing human hair to the channel. All right, guys, so this is just the unboxing. It came in this nice, pretty bag. And then it also came with this nice little kit here. And in the kit, you get some cool little goodies. I got a comb. This comb is awesome. And also it came with like these nice clips. These clips are really sturdy. It came with two of them. I got some bobby pins. It came with these instructions also. And also, guys, it came with like this little wig stand. And I thought it was pretty cool that it came with this stand so you can store your wig on this little stand. These are just the specs of the wig, but I'll also list it later on in just a wig cap. Hey guys, alright, so this video's a little different. I am stepping up my game in 2020. So I have a wig that is a human hair unit wig. I showed you in the in the beginning. This is from my first wig. I'm really excited to review this unit because I haven't reviewed a human hair. Actually, I did review a human hair um, unit that loved me um, human hair, but that was like when I first started off my channel and it was like on a phone and I, I I don't know that you could watch the video if you want. I'll leave it right here. Okay, so this um, wig is my first wig, and like I said, I wanted to bring a human hair unit to my channel because I have been asked about human hair units, and I just tell people, oh, go check this person out, go check this person out. But why can't they check me out? So. I got this unit, my first wig, because this wig is supposedly a very like kind of beginner friendly human wig when you're kind of transitioning over and just it's your first wig. It's my first wig. Duh. So as you saw, it came with all these goodies. I'm just going to go ahead and take her out the pack. I didn't shampoo this unit because I want to really see like how she's looking right out the pack like if it's your first wig you might not know how to do all that stuff so I just wanted to bring her exactly the way she's coming in the pack but this is her right out the pack y'all oh my goodness she's so gorgeous oh <laughs> it's Christmas on my channel I put all the specs right here that I've got so I got the texture Yaki. Um, I got the length 16 inches, the hair color, natural hair color, and I got the cap size one. Cap size one is supposed to fit a circumference head 21 and a half to 22 inches. This cap is six inches deep part lace, and it's just like a deep lace front. It doesn't have the lace all throughout. So it's just the lace right in the front. And um, in the back, it has that cap and, and it has a comb. It has a, a strap to secure her. So I'm guessing I could kind of put this down as glueless because usually when it has these straps, you can put them down as glueless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this strap on. I'm excited y'all, like, woo child, we stepping it up. We are stepping it up, up. Let me upgrade you, honey. We are upgrading. All right, so I like the fact that the, the knots already came bleached. This is what she's looking like. And that looks really, really good, y'all. Wow. Wow, that looks really, really pretty. All right, so let's put this on. The knots are bleached. The hairline is pre-plucked. Like, there's supposed to be not really much that I'm supposed to be doing to this unit except just putting her on <sighs> all right here we go wow <laughs> wow that is so pretty oh my goodness look at that this is gorgeous y'all so because she did come in that pack she definitely needs some styling I think I want to style her a little bit, put some curls in her, and come back 
but this is this is very pretty so this is what she's looking like this hairline is very natural looking look at that and it's not boxy it's like nice and you know how your hairline will look i think i am gonna have to secure her with some glue yeah this is not this is not glueless i thought it was because it had that strap in the back but it's not glueless y'all <laughs> i'm not even gonna play myself like that so i'm gonna go ahead and just secure her down and i'll just be back okay guys i'm back I just went off camera and cut the lace and I also went in with my my brush blow dryer and kind of straightened her out a little bit I was gonna style her on camera but I did I decided maybe I'll make that another video but I wanted the straight look because that's what I ordered and that's what I was trying to get so there are some flyaways with this unit so I'm getting a lot of flyaways after I did that I left it to show y'all so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of I can't find my wax stick I didn't get the edge the the edge tamer I kind of feel like I should have but I mean you could use anything to kind of tame your flyaways but I just wanted to show y'all how much flyaways are in this unit but you could tame it down it's nothing that's not it's not bad it's not bad at all okay so let's talk about her Ooh. <laughs> All right, so I got this from my first wig. I'm going to be looking down because I want to make sure I say everything right for y'all. Um, again, I got this from my first wig. This video is not sponsored. I paid for this by myself. So I wanted a human hair unit, a good one in my collection. So don't tell my husband. This unit came to a total of $244.90. And that includes the shipping fee. I got a discount code. I used a discount code and I got like $10 off. So I guess it would have been like $255, but I, I paid $245. Okay. So I do have the Style Alexis and I have the Malaysian Human Hair Straight. I wanted a straight human hair unit. I have, it's a lace front wig. Again, that lace is only in the front. It has that six inches of deep parting space. This is a natural hair color 16 inches the the texture is yakky and yes she is yakky feels really good i got the lace color light brown and i got the knots deep bleached and they look really good y'all i didn't do anything to these knots and i do recommend getting deep bleached i did not um so oh see see these flyaways this is the only thing i'm not really feeling but it's fine. Um, I think if I had my wax stick, I could go ahead and tame it a little bit. Next time, because there will be a next time, I'll probably get that um, edge tamer. So this wig has all of this beautiful parting space already. All right. Look at that. It's all this nice parting in the, in the front of the unit. So you can style her however you want. I didn't go in with any glue. I did go in with a little bit of free spray right here and secure this part down. But I didn't secure the sides because I like to take my units off and I wanted to take her off. So the hairline looks really good. She does come pre-plucked. I think if I, I think my hairline is a little janky. <laughs> but I think if I would have secured her down, I could, you know... If she's flapping on the side but I would just put some bobby pins on the side but I think if I would have secured her down I could get her to hold better here but yeah she's gorgeous she feels really soft the density that I got it doesn't really say the density I think it's about 180 I wish the density was a little bit thicker but honestly I feel like this is really good for uh, my first wig like the density it's really wearable it's an everyday wear she feels so good this unit is definitely something to have in your collection if you're used to synthetic units and you're trying to switch it up i would you know i would say get some kind of human hair unit i know it's pricey but maybe save up and get one but that's why i wanted one because i wanted a human hair in my collection and sis i'm happy i got her 
I don't have any complaints at all. I didn't have to tint the lace. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't go in with any powder. I didn't do anything. And that's what I wanted with my unit, with my with a human hair unit if it says my first wig i want it to be my first wig i mean because for some people it might be a little intimidating to do all of that so this is definitely very beginner friendly and put on your head and go like she's amazing let me know what y'all think about her she feels really soft i didn't shampoo her or anything and she smells good you know how sometimes these human hair units they smell kind of chemically I don't know they smell a little off and you need to go in and shampoo it this one smells good i didn't do much y'all she's a winner she is a total winner i absolutely will be getting another wig from this company again so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this unit would you buy her what do you think have you bought a unit from my first wigs before leave a comment below and we can talk about this until next time beauties i will talk to you later Bye.